What's up, y'all? What's up? This is the new Anything Goes podcast. Anything goes. And I do mean anything goes. Yes, sir. I'm one of your hosts. My name is Big Ski. Big Ski, baby. The other host is Dusty Joe. Dusty Joe. And we got house. a special co-host from time to time, my boy Neil Ray, that'll be tapping in Neil with us. Ray. Man, we talking about it all. So welcome to the show, baby. I'm on the block and get it hot. Niggas crazy, niggas crazy. Stripping like Yo, what up, y'all? This your boy, Big Ski. This your boy, Dusty Joe. Man, and today, like any other Sunday, anything goes. Hey, happy Easter, man. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, bro. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, too. Happy Sunday. What's so special about Easter? Aside from the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know what, bro? I don't know what a bunny and eggs have to do with Easter, but all right, man. Happy Easter. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Doing anything today? Working. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Working like always. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, uh, you know I got to go home and upload this. Got to make sure the fans get what they want. Bro, every Sunday, I mean, not Sunday, but every Easter, we usually do something at the house. Today, it ain't happening, bro. It's raining outside. It just put a little damper on everything that's going on, bro. It is. It is. It's, it's been fucking raining like a motherfucker since yesterday. Yeah. It's supposed right. to rain all day today. Yeah. It's supposed to rain up until sometime tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. But it's been like vicious rain, bro. I enjoy the rain. And as long as I'm not at work, I don't give a damn. I enjoy the rain myself. As long as I'm not in it. Mm. As long as I don't have to work in it, drive in it. Well, I can't drive in it, but that's, that's beside the point. But I'm telling you, bro, I got some... Let, let, let me rephrase that. Walk in it. Walk in it. Hey, I got some good sleep, though. The rain make you sleep good, mm-hmm. bro. I was relaxed. I don't know what it was, bro. But I had some good sleep, so thank you to the rain. Fuck the rain. Hey, have you noticed that it seems... Is it me, or, or, or does it just seem like this year, so far, it's been raining a lot? But we need it, bro. We need it. We need it. Yeah. Why the do rain we... help wash all the bullshit away? It's a lot of bullshit out here. I'm gonna Eric. walk outside and gonna see a few friends and all kind of shit and wash their ass away. True that. True that. Because why not? When it rains, I don't want to come out. Now the thing is though, bro. Seriously though, when it rain, all the potholes form again. I was seeing some vicious potholes and they just start filling them. Nah, they get worse. Yeah. I was seeing some vicious potholes, bro. I was pushing. Actually, when I uh, came to get you this morning, I had to avoid a couple of them. Felt like I was playing a video did, game. Did, did we ever talk about that? What? About the couple right here in um, Compton that was filling up the potholes? Yeah, we talked about it. They wound up getting a cease and desist letter. Yeah, they, they got a, a letter from the fucking um, city, of Compton. city of Compton to cease and desist uh, all the, everything that they were doing. That's because they was making the city look bad, bro. Uh, or maybe they wasn't using the right shit. Well, they they... They were just, they were just packing the potholes. They weren't using heat or nothing. So yeah. you know they were gonna, the streets are gonna get fucked up anyway. But yeah, that's so, not the point. So maybe they didn't want them to do it so they can really identify where the holes are at. If they already mm-hmm. passed, they might be like, "Nah, this one was already done," even though it wasn't right. Yeah, that may have something to do with it too. I don't know. Possibly, we we don't know. We we don't know what the um, what the reason for the letter was. But maybe I should go to a city council meeting to find out. Yeah, Joe, maybe you should. You know he's in the motherfucker. Curious, curious. No, you know he's in the motherfucker. Just pop up in that bitch like, hey, I want to know what's going on. Nah. What's happening in my city? I'd rather work. No, You'll be working. I know, huh? You'll be getting a good story for the podcast and then we can talk about it. Maybe you can even go live before they kick you out. <laughs> no shit, Because uh. the shit you're going to be talking, they're going to kick you the fuck out. Probably, uh. So maybe you can go live real quick like, hey, this is Joe, and then you out of there. <laughs> We know you, motherfucker. Yeah, we already know you're dragging you the fuck out. You done already spoke your mind before you got to that point. No shit, huh? Hey, that's some real shit, though, man. But you know, that that, that is some crazy shit, though, to where you got to take into your own, you know, you got to take, how you say it? Matters into your own hands to to correct something that you actually paid taxes on. 
you know, you pay, you pay property taxes, you pay liquor taxes, you pay tobacco taxes, you pay taxes on your food, you pay taxes on your pussy, you, 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 you pay taxes on the money you just spent, you pay taxes on your checks, well, what, your check, your payroll check, who's that, that could like federal, right? Or to the state, not to the city, right? I'm just saying, if a bitch tax you for pussy, who the fuck you paying for that? I, 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 I wouldn't I wouldn't know how to answer that question because <laughs> I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I don't pay for pussy. I, I ain't saying you particularly. Man, I don't pay for it. Well, no, somebody I, out there paying for pussy. No, I'm just saying I, I wouldn't know because I don't pay for it. Okay, good enough. Hey, man, hey, hey, hey. We had a phenomenal actor that just passed away, man. I want to say rest in peace to Louis Gossett Jr., man. Louis Gossett Jr., Hey, man, he was a phenomenal actor, bro, in so many movies and shows that we can't even name, bro. What, what is one movie or show that you that you actually remember him in? Man, I mean, the, a, a, a movie or show that you actually know the name of, because he was in so many. I'm going to take it all the way back, bro. I remember when he was on Good Times. Oh, really? Yeah. That was in the 70s. I remember, I think one of the, one of the first movies... I seen him in was um, an officer and a gentleman. Mm. Well, man, it's so many movies. You got to actually Google mm -hmm. him to find out all the movies, and you gonna be like, "Oh yeah." And then I remember a movie that he was in was some. He, he was a him and a, another dude was like um, stranded on a, on a planet, but he played the alien. Mm. But what's funny is that this motherfucking alien. I, you know what, I think if this movie would have came out now, this motherfucking movie would just fuck everybody up, because the alien had a baby. Oh, <laughs> really? It was a male alien, but he had a baby. Really? Yeah, it's a crazy movie. It's old, but th that shit was interesting. I don't know why I remember that part. Hey, bro, but he was in so much stuff, bro. It was just like crazy bro yeah a lot of shit a lot of shit i just pulled him up and just over some of the stuff like how he was in jaws he was in uh, jaws roots the color purple iron eagle an officer and a gentleman mm -hmm. it was probably that enemy mind that you enemy mind about. there you go you know what i'm saying man he was in so much stuff bro phenomenal actor man that's a big loss yeah it is yeah it is you know it seems it's it, it, it's crazy though that it seems as though um just this year alone that we've lost a lot of good people. We have, bro. Shit. Today was, a, what's today? Um, March 31st? I think March 31st, 1995 is when, um, you know, Selena, the yeah. singer, yeah. was murdered. Mm. Today's the anniversary, I guess you could call it. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Her, that, that fucking lady that shot her. I don't know if, do you really watch documentaries? Not really, bro. Every um, once in a while, I might, but not too many. She came out with a documentary telling her side of the fucking story about how the Selena was cheating on her husband, and her husband was a cheat. And the f I believe some of it. I believe the father mm -hmm. did a lot of dumb shit. He 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 just strikes me as a the, the kind of person that a twisted motherfucker. Mm. But. The whole the whole documentary is a trip. It's like for me, it's like a what if kind of documentary. Mm. You know, it's like it's a lot of doubt. No, I I I, I don't. Yeah, what what she's saying, mm -hmm. what the old what the the lady in jail is saying. Yeah, I doubt anything she's saying is true. Okay. Aside from the father. Uh huh. I I believe some of that shit she said about the father. Yeah, I I do. He looks like the type. I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. And only yours. And only mine. Because we don't share the same opinions. Clearly. <laughs> message. But yeah. You got your shit and I got yeah. mine. Yeah. But it's crazy. Yeah. How your weekend been so far, bro? Very unproductive. As usual? As usual. But you know what? Yesterday I kind of... Kind of just chilled... Watched a movie. You ever seen that movie? Um, it's called um, Plus One. No. The only the only two actors I I, I remember their names is Ashanti was in it. Okay. And uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Okay. I ain't seen it though. 
Do you think I will watch it? No. Okay, good enough for me. Your wife, your wife, your your wife might want want to watch it. Well, don't tell her because I don't want to watch Cause, it. Because um, it's interesting. It's about a um, couple getting married. Okay. Ashanti's getting married. Okay. And they, you know, they invite everybody, and they're like, um, you can invite her. One of her friends, she's like, you can invite whoever the hell you want, but you can't invite this certain person. Oh. And he still ends up bringing her. So the broad fucks up her wedding dress, fucks up her wedding. All kinds of shit oh, happens. Some old hateful shit. Yeah, some, and fucking she... It's, it's weird. But would I watch it again? Wait, no. All I want to know, did anybody get beat up? Nah, see, that's, a good, that's the thing, too. There was no violence. I ain't watching it. Yeah, there was no violence. I don't want to watch it, Joe. There was a poisoning. I don't want to watch it. <laughs> Not good. Yeah, it was. It was. It wasn't. Some I don't want to watch it. Some of the actors, I had no. never. I never seen them before. But I don't want to watch it. I'm a by 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 all means. I'm not an actor, uh, but I think clearly. I could act. But no, you act pretty good all the time. You act like you like shit. Yeah, I know, huh? You bought the grumpiest motherfucker on a well every day, but I mean, shit happens. It's everyday stresses. Don't let the podcast life fool you yeah i mean this is all glamorous and shit like that <laughs> but outside of this some real life shit happens yeah hey 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 you know what we never uh gave a shout out to dr dre bro for getting a star on the hollywood walk of fame and shout out to dr dre man that's right he got a star on the hollywood walk of fame yeah we didn't get a chance to cover it bro because we had a guest last week you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. oh and while we here we'll be off next sunday that's a nigga B-Day, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to fuck around and be celebrating. I'll probably be with a major hangover or some shit. So we won't be here due to my motherfucking birthday. It sounds selfish, but I don't give a fuck. Hey, and uh, happy early birthday to my uh, Uncle Ron. That nigga shit coming up too, man. Hey, and also my Uncle Calvin, his birthday is the same day as mine. So happy birthday, Unc. It's coming up, man. Yeah, we won't getting be old, here. Getting old, nigga. Getting old. Jerk. I'm getting old, bro. I'll be at work like always. I won't be. Because I'm, I'm going to actually be off Friday and Monday. I'm chilling, bro. I'll be at work. Yeah, you'll be at work. But guess what? I'll be drinking while you're at work. I'll be having a good guy time. I'll be having me a black and mild. I'll be out here chilling, perhaps. Perhaps. But don't come a-knocking because I'm not going to answer. <laughs> He's a fool. I'm not fucking. Di- That's one thing I'm going to do this weekend is not fuck with nobody. Leave me the fuck alone. I'm going to spend my birthday with my wife and chi- with a bottle to drink. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> and then after I drink the bottle, I'm going to play some chase. We're going to play uh, hide and go get it around this motherfucker. Hide and so, go get it. So don't fuck around, come knocking. You're gonna you play might it. catch a nigga with his drawers <laughs> off. <laughs> Streaking through the uh, living room or some shit. I don't know. You're going to play tag? Man, no, nah, we're going to play hide and go get it. Go hide. I'm going to come find you, and I'm going to get it. And then you get to tag it. <laughs> hey, and on this game, ain't no doors being locked. My luck, she'd be hiding in the closet somewhere and shit under some what shit. With her foot sticking out? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't get your ass out of here, come get me some. <laughs> <laughs> you right, stupid. Man. Hey, but you know what I'm saying? Shit happens. Yeah, shit, shit happens. happens. Hey, anybody that, that just had a birthday in the... Uh, Month of March, happy birthday. Anybody in the month of April, happy birthday. Anybody any other time, I don't give a fuck. It's funny, in March, my, my mom had her birthday. Mm-hmm. And two of my older sisters mm. had a birthday. What was it? Uh, the 5th, the 8th, and the 13th. Okay. Shit, uh, Ron's birthday is on the 5th. Me and my uncle, uh, Calvin, ours is on the 7th. What, Ron? Uncle Ron. Oh, 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 Uncle Ron. Yeah, with his old ass. <laughs> Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, and then um, Lil Daryl's birthday is the 27th of April. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So you got plans to... for that? Not yet. I don't know. Uh, we so wrapped up in trying to get shit going for Maya Prom that we just like on a one-track mind right now. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We went and picked our dress up yesterday, got her some shoes and shit. Now we got to get our jewelry and uh, her purse and other little shit. And you know what I'm saying? We just kind of focusing on that, trying to get all the decorations and shit. Matter of fact, I'm going to invite you, bro. You you uh, welcome to come to the champagne party. We're going to have food and see her off to the prime and shit. We're going to have a good little oh, that's time, cool. bro. Thanks for the invite. Yeah, I keep you informed on the shit. Um, you go buy her jewelry at Claire's. 
Well, I think they're gonna order like some costume jewelry for her. That's what I'm shit. saying. At that uh, Claire, some, at that Claire shit, they yeah, sell all that costume they don't, jewelry. They don't shit. have what she want there, but they was looking at some shit on Amazon yesterday. So I'm like, all right, well, figure it out. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, shit over the weekend, we actually went to go look at a car for Maya. Uh, the picture was mis- misleading like a motherfucker. And then I asked the motherfucker, I'm like, had the car ever been in an accident? They were like, no, the car's good. We shoot to the little car lot and shit. Take them about 30 minutes to locate the goddamn car. They took us over to the motherfucker. I'm like, nah, I don't like it. Was it the same car? No, it was a totally different car. It, it clearly had uh, got hit on the uh, rear passenger side. Half the door for the uh, gas tank was broken. Half of oh, it had a crack in the windshield. And I'm like, nah. I was like, we good. So, so it was like, would you say edited pictures or just completely fucking it was different the wrong car different car joe and you didn't tell him hey this ain't the fucking right car no nah, dude was like hey we just clean it up a little bit it'd be perfect an a and b car nah nigga we don't want an a and b car that look like this for my daughter i'm good i'm good. damn that's crazy but the good thing though i had told my daughter before we walked in i said don't get your hopes up high I said, this is the first time we're mm-hmm. going to check out a car. Maybe we'll drive it and see how it is. I said, but I'm looking for everything that's wrong with this car. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking like, oh, it's, it's a cool car for her. I'm looking for everything wrong with this motherfucker. So I can point this shit out. Oh, okay. So, nah, it, it just wasn't for her. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, well, we got more time. Hey, you know what, Joe? What? I want to speak on something, man. The, the Grimies. We got new music that's going to be released in april mr greenleaf is finna release some new grimy shit and as opposed to that man do we got a uh a throwback video from the grimies bro can we bang one yeah i got one man hey bang a video from the grimies man this shit coming out in uh, uh, april next month you know what i'm saying well april is what shit tomorrow tomorrow coming out sometime uh next month but this is grimies right here man hey y'all fuck with it because i do we got homies moving out here popping, but we need a real OG to show them how we really get down out here. Well, who you want to go get? I said we get RBX, man. That's a good one. You know, he ain't well ever since he escaped from death row. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I'm the LBC photographer, and you know, I'd be everywhere. So, you know, I'm going to record it. Yeah. Hell, to me, that's a great idea. Shit, we got to get RBX, man. Besides, he the only one we know to keep it tight like the last on the fat lady's drawers. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. It's time to make that phone call. Man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got everything cracking. Yeah. Got it. Breakwater Entertainment. Yeah. Phone Counts International. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big Ski Entertainment. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big Hank Productions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we got the comedy. Mm-hmm. Man, 2017, this is our year. Mm-hmm. Man. Let's roll with it. It's time to make that phone call, man. Yeah. Right now. I'm looking for RBX. You mean tell me you don't know where he at? Lying ass. Come on now. Wait a minute. We tired of listening to this old skinny jean ass music. <laughs>
sun up to the sun is dead. Before you kill us at my door, you know you fucking with the best and all that cramming don't be nothing. You gon' flunk the simple test cause you don't seem to get the picture like a broken EOS. To the cannon, smoke another like a drunk on cigarettes. I interfere cause I turn her like a psycho in cage. First appearance, hero on fire like Luke Cage. Disappearance, heroes expire like hoax rage. Got you hiding from the sun and dying from black plague. And if she open up her legs, you know I'll rate her like Malitin and cough Hussein. Boating fast at the bus and that's up in her mouth. Or maybe I will ram her since I'm not out there like bashing golf. No joke, don't provoke when I so like clash. The coffee means go through something. It's the end of discussion. You just wait and see what's next. All that front for nothing. See the sweat on your neck. Cause you know we ain't bluffing when you get RBX on the Greenly production. We the grimies. Check how we run it now. Step out of line, we gon' gun you down LBC, we run the town From sun up to the sun is down The grind is check how we run it now Step out of line, we gon' gun you down LBC, we run the town From sun up to the sun is down Say, bitch, you seen RBX? Yeah, yeah no, my, my pimp partner, Mac Alicious, called me and said we got to find RBX yeah, no, so, bitch, I need you to get your pimp shit. I need you to get your pussy popping. You understand me? Get on the track and find out where this nigga's at. Yeah, I'm nigga. Hold on, hold on. Who? What? When? Hey, hey. Love, love. Huh, bitch, I thought one of my hoes would call me. Bitch, I need you to go out there and find all the ass. Yeah, no, I can set a beam to crush your whole crew. Trying to steal the sunlight like Prometheus do. Let us pray for the ones trying to slander thy name in desperate attempts to attain fleeting fame. But most of them hoes nowadays is misled. Like super glue and stuck to the curb and half dead. Black hearted now won't stop for no breather. Doses, no chance of truces either. He stays ready for whatever they bring. Take dog technique of bang that thing. Plus, good game from Pimpin' in his shoe. Macalish just said, X, don't let him diminish. You. Now I'm in the cup with your bitch and good leave. If she gets thirsty, serve her good beef. Grimy, we stole the show. Good thief, long beats in the uncut. Real breeze. The grimies, check how we run it now. Step out of line, we gon' gun you down. LBC, we run the town. From sun up to the sun is down. The grimies, check how we run it now. Step out of line, we gon' gun you down. LBC, we run the town. From sun up to the sun is down. Yeah, they, they fucking with RBX. What? Hey, man, I'm out of here, not Don't quick. do this to me, man. Don't do this to me this time. Don't do this to me, man. Don't do this to me, man. Hey, do you know who RBX is? Man, I don't give a fuck. Oh, look, I'm gonna be looking for us, nigga. I don't 19, give a fuck. Nigga, you got to give a fuck, nigga. 19th Streets, Insane's. 20s, nigga, they gonna be looking for us, nigga. So what? Man, fuck that, man. Yeah, I, I don't care. care. I can't, nigga. I'm, I'm, I'm not with that, nigga. I man, can't come on, man. Nigga, they gonna be looking for us, nigga. So what? Listen, the RBX used to beat up uh, Shug, nigga, at football practice at UNLV. Hey. Listen, man. RBX escaped from death. That's a video from the Grimey's called We Run This Town. Hey, Mr. Greenleaf is getting ready to release, re-release some grimy shit uh april so it's coming man y'all be on the lookout man it's coming man the grimies hey that was featuring rbx the homie man rbx <laughs> which he got some new shit out too man y'all support x man he got some new music out right now dope ass cd uh hibern hibernation shivers so y'all fuck with uh rbx man shout out to long beach man that's cool <laughs> hey joe I've been working on some shit too, man. Um, I fuck around and bumped into another producer out there from uh, Germany, bro. I knocked out two songs this week, man. The motherfuckers is pretty cool, bro. Different little flavor and shit. Hey, them, them producers out there in Germany got some heat, bro. No shit. Yeah, man. That's cool. That's cool. I actually went live and uh, did some reels, and I was playing two of the songs I recorded. So, okay. y'all go check out the reels and shit. Hey, y'all get a, a couple of bars of what I got going on. But, man, I'm steady working, man. Uh, actually, I got a project that's getting ready to drop soon. I, I might wait till the summertime. Uh, it's a project with me and Spidey Low. It's called Potent Injection. And that's coming real soon, man. It's about uh, 13... Pot potent Injection? Yeah, it's okay. about... 13, 14 tracks on there, man. Spidey, we on everything. I rap on everything. Spidey sing on everything, and then he rap on most of the songs. Okay. 
Oh, that's hey, so cool. The project is super dope. It's some hood shit, some banging shit. Mm -hmm. Hey, y'all really want to get a bar this big ski of Spidey Lope, potent injection. Let me ask you something. I'm going to go back to the beginning of the show. Shoot. We were uh, talking about Easter. Yes. You know, Easter. It's and, Easter Sunday. And what it signifies and everything. Uh-huh. As, as a non-practicing Catholic, I know what it signifies. But did you know that our president, Mr. President Joe Biden, uh -huh. um, declared today um, Transgender Day of Visibility, March 21st, 2024. He, he, he says, Now therefore I, Joseph R. Biden Jr., President of the United States of America, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Constitution and the laws of the United States, do hereby proclaim March 31st, 2024, as Transgender Day of Visibility. Mm. Interesting. What do you think about that? Well, I mean, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's the president. Just so happened it fell on Easter. It's, it's not fucking with me this year, but Easter don't always fall on Yeah, that's, that's one thing. Sunday. Easter doesn't always fall on, on the 31st, but... Yeah, but the fact that it fell on this one, it's like, yeah, I don't know if that's... A, do you, do you think it's a it, it's a ploy, like to get people's minds off of other things? Joe, so a lot of shit that happens in the world, it happens for a reason. They throw you certain stories to hide up other shit all the time, bro. Like, let's say about this Diddy shit. They raided two of his houses at the same time, and they making a big ass thing out of this Diddy shit to cover up or to shuffle some other shit. The crazy part is all the fucking information coming out on social media. It's like, dude, he's not arrested. Everybody's saying he got arrested. He got him and his son got arrested. They're not they, arrested. They detained two of his sons, but, but they, they let, him, let go. him go. But you yeah. know, on TikTok and on fucking. Well, one of his sons, the other one is Albie Shore's son, but you know what I'm saying. And but they're saying he got arrested and this and this yeah. and this and that. They say he tried to fly to the fucking. Uh, well, he did fly out there. His jet, his jet was out there. I was trying to say, he uh, leased his jet out. So, motherfuckers, they be renting this shit and going other places. So, they tracked his jet going his over there, jet but he was wasn't out there. on there. At first, when I saw the story, they didn't give you all the all the facts. I'm like, oh, shit, Puffy on the run. I was like, man, he looked guilty than a motherfucker. But, but, but at the same time, they showed pictures of him being interviewed. Yeah. And what, what, do, you, what do you think about all these stories about him coming out or everything people are saying i do, do you think it's clout chasing or do you think it's it's, it's no, i think it's some true shit it's tr it's true. i think it's some true shit to be honest 100 percent honest from the shit that i seen the shit that i heard i think a lot of these allegations are true a motherfucker with money think they above the law think they can do whatever the fuck they want to do until they bite the hand to feed them okay so i'm thinking myself that puffy got a little too big mm -hmm. And start biting the hand and feed him. So, so would you say, would you say that, what's his name, Orlando Bloom? What's his name, Orlando, what's Brown. his name, Brown? What's his name, Lil Rob? What's his name? That fucking Robert, what's his name, the one that used to work with him? The one that got a case against him right now. I don't know, Joe. 50 Cent in the game, you think all these stories they said about um, Diddy are true? I believe it's a lot of truth to that shit, you know what I'm saying? I believe it's a lot of truth. I've been hearing for years that uh, this nigga was going the other way. You know what I'm saying? Trying to destroy these young, brand new artists and shit, but he's not the only one. It's like a gang of these motherfuckers that do that same shit to these young artists. Do you believe they found evidence that um, he paid somebody $4 million to uh, kill Tupac? I don't know, Joe. Do you believe the stories that uh, he paid somebody? Supposedly, they found files uh -huh. that he paid somebody a certain amount of money to kill Biggie because Biggie wanted a piece of the uh, company. I heard that Biggie was gonna leave Bad Boys. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I, that he was I, gonna leave Bad Boy I don't if know, he Joe. if he didn't get a piece of the company. I don't know, Joe. All this is just speculation. We wasn't there, so I really don't know. Okay, I'm gonna make up my own thing. He wanted oh, to leave. Bad, he wanted to leave Bad Boy because they wanted to put him on a diet. Either that, or he wouldn't bend over and let Puffy fuck him. Probably, possibly. Maybe, I don't know. Possibly. 
I feel that any young artist, if you seeking help from Bad Boy, go to Puffy with a butt plug in. <laughs> I seen a video. I, I seen a video like that. Some dude was like, "Yeah, I went shopping with Puffy one day, and Puffy goes up on this on this um shelf, and he just starts pulling down all kinds of fucking boxes." And he's like, man, as soon as I walked by, I looked up, he said, that whole shelf said butt plugs. <laughs> Damn. You don't say I don't know how true that is. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised, man. I heard a gang of stories. You know so, what I'm saying? Do, do, do you think stories like this is a distraction to yeah. certain other things? Yeah. And it's another way to fuck around and tear down a motherfucker. If you keep posting shit and having other motherfuckers post it, a lot of this shit could be plants. I don't, I don't know. But it's a way to destroy another fucking person that mm -hmm. bit the hand to feed him. So you think all that, uh, all that Cat Williams and all that other shit, all that shit's true? I believe a lot of it is. You know what I'm saying? But again, we wasn't there. So every time they go after a motherfucker, they post shit to really destroy and tear them mm -hmm. down, like they did Bill Cosby, like they did R. Kelly. A lot of motherfuckers, they they find a gang of negative shit and they just post this shit or put this shit out there. Some of it could be cohorsed. I I don't know. I'm just glad it ain't me. Hey, it's funny how um, how some of these social media um, how some of these social media sites can can um, mute your shit. Yeah. When it's your shit, your uh -huh. original shit. Yeah. They just did it to us. They just did it to us. Motherfucker. And they've done it to me a couple of times. Hey, hey you keep that to yourself. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but. You know they they remember they did it to us a few times on YouTube for supposedly spreading misinformation. Yeah, and we was uh, simply speaking on what our the opinion. Fuck was going uh, on. We were talking about our opinion on COVID. No, we didn't even like that. Yeah, and um, they didn't like our opinion. But you see all these people on social media spreading misinformation. And them motherfuckers get millions and millions of views. They spread misinformation about this goddamn solar eclipse is supposed to happen. That's what I was going to get to, too. Yeah, they all over the place talking about the internet going to go down and this, that, that. Who gives a fuck? That um, there's going to be, supposedly they say there's going to be um, military out there. I think like, what, in Arkansas or some shit like that? Where like the main point I really that, that you can see the eclipse, that there's going to be... Um, you're supposed to be able to see it all over the world, Joe. That's going to be from... Yeah, you're going to be able to see it all over the world, but there's gonna be it's going to be like from Texas up to the north. It's going to be like at an arc. And, um... But in Arkansas... Is it Arkansas? I think it's, I think it's Arkansas. It's like where you can see it the best. And Who gives a fuck? But supposedly there's going to be military, scientists, and all kinds of motherfuckers out there because... Supposedly the internet's gonna go down. It's gonna fuck with um, the cell phones. But it's Joe, gonna... what makes this one different from any other fucking one we had? Well, I'm getting there. I'm getting oh, there. Okay, all right. Shit, and we'll speed it the fuck up. That supposedly the mothership, the mothership's gonna show itself. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I mean shit. Yeah, the mothership's really gonna show don't itself. I don't give a fuck. It's just gonna become dark in the daytime, and I'm good with that. So, do you think it's another thing? Just you know. Look at what my left hand is doing, so you want to see what I'm doing in my oh, right hand? Oh, Joe, I think this is just seriously some motherfucking so buffoons that's fucking around trying to scare the weak-minded motherfuckers. That's what I think it is. You know, man. since I was born, I think I've survived the world, the end of the world. It ain't over. Eight times? It ain't over. Six to eight times? It ain't over. What was it, Y2K, the fucking Aztec calendar, reset, the fucking uh meteors and all and kinds these of motherfuckers shit. Is, you got motherfuckers still believing this shit mm -hmm. they gonna be scared probably laying up under the bed or some shit with the covers on so they can miss the eclipse give a fuck so you 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 don't believe no the rapture's coming no. you don't believe i believe it's coming but not by this i think it's coming too but i don't think it's coming anytime soon yeah me either i still i still believe that we live on a prison planet why do you say that because of all the violence and just everything that goes on in this world, you you would think that um, and then there's no there, there's no detectable life outside of our planet, inside of our solar system. So hey, maybe they, somebody must have dumped us here. Joe, <laughs> you and this bullshit. It's too early for this, man. Hey. You got me cussing no resurrection Sunday, hey, man. Hey. You got me doing the most. Everybody can, anybody can make shit up. <laughs> oh, you right about that. <laughs> that's, you right about that's that. That's what I'm Joe. getting to. Okay, all right. So Joe want to make up some shit. Today. Yeah. So, so do, do you think? What do you What do you think about the um, 
Do you think, think that it. that fucking boat, that that fucking ship that crashed into the bridge, you think that's a distraction? No. Uh, and I see that's that That's a horrible story. accident. It, it really but is, But do you bro. think do you think it was a distraction like um the Twin Towers? No. That's what I, people are trying to say. This is just some unfortunate shit, bro. I've seen the videos of this, how mm -hmm. the boat lost power. Twice. Yeah, it lost power, it gained power, it lost power, it gained power. It, it went, the last time it gained power, it was already too late. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They was already at the bridge. I was seeing footage of cars going over the mm -hmm. bridge right before it happened, too, bro. And I was like, wow, I hope nobody's on the bridge, bro, because that motherfucker collapsed. The, 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 ones, bro. the crazy part is that... and. I, w I was reading an um, article. It was an article. It was on the news. I don't know what, what news site it was, but I don't know how true it is. They said that the boat captain dropped his anchor. Mm. I guess he dropped the anchor to He'll try to, try to stop, it. stop it. But when he, when he the anchor went down, it shifted the ship. That's interesting. They still doing uh, reports on this and stuff mm -hmm. like that. They actually trying to see if the captain of the boat is liable for all this to happen. I seen a I, oh, same shit. I seen a I seen a, a article somewhere saying I don't know how true this is. Once again, I'm gonna say it. I don't know how tr how true it is. Do a lot of this shit sound like it might be made up by you. This that morning. no, that the government's gonna foot the bill to rebuild that bridge. Mm. That they're they're sending millions, like forty fifty million dollars to help clean up and. Really? You know, in aid and shit, and and to search for their bodies and shit. Yeah, so. man. Hey, rest in peace to all the people that lost their lives on that bridge that day. Uh, they had construction going on, so it was construction workers. It was people that got trapped in their cars and stuff like that, man. That's I think they, like I think horrible, they found bro. two of the construction workers still alive. Mm, really? Mm -hmm. It's crazy because uh, the mayor of what was it Baltimore, right? Yeah, it was Baltimore. Did you see the interview when they asked the mayor? <laughs> he had a, he had an interview right and somebody says how long is he asked the mayor how long do you think it's gonna take for the bridge to reopen the mayor came back and said you know what we ain't worried about rebuilding the bridge right now nah, we worried can't. about the people that are in the water that we exactly. got oh he shut them up quick i was yeah, like because that's what's supposed to happen man this is much bigger than and that. then he started talking shit about how he was dressed he had, on, he had on a fucking a varsity jacket and, and a fucking a sweatshirt. He ain't like, got time to put on a suit. And do, they ain't working. Exactly. He, you know, he, he ain't worried about putting on a fucking three-piece suit to go do a fucking um, interview. interview. He, yeah, you know, they, they worried about working. other shit. They trying to get to these people because these people are pretty much damn near out of time mm -hmm. now. You know what I'm saying? They've been out of time. So it, it went from a rescue mission to a recovery mission. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because of the timing and stuff like that, the hours. And then lately, everything on social media is all a fucking conspiracy theory. That's all the time, really. You know, sometimes I, I, I think that most people don't know the, the concept of electricity. You know, how I, the... I believe you're right on that. How the bridge, they say that the bridge exploded. No. It's like, you know, this bridge did have electricity. You do know that, you know, once you pull a line, it arcs. Smoke comes out. Yeah. Hey, come on, man. But, man, you get people with some dumb shit all the time that just want to say some shit, just want to be nice. Sometimes we do it. We might say some shit just off the wall so we can get noticed. I mean, hey, it happens, bro. You mean like when I told everybody you got Bigfoot pregnant? Well, now I'm searching for an alien, so if this shit is true, we're going to have a little <laughs> nappy head green ass baby with a full beard running around this motherfucker hey, talking stupid. about right on. You're <laughs> you stupid. We're going to change this shit, bro. And if Bigfoot want to join in, I'll fuck her too. Fuck it. Thought you, you, thought you already did. I mean, shit. Let you tell it. I got babies by everybody. Shit, that ain't... Uh, we ain't going to talk about Rihanna. I ain't going to talk about my baby mama like that. We ain't going to put that shit out Jesus there. Fool. It's, like, it's like these shootings too. Do you think they're um, distractions? No, I think that shit is dumb motherfuckers trying to do shit. I seen some shit where a seventy year old motherfucker robbed a bank the other day and got killed. No, I was I was gonna talk about that fucking um we didn't get to talk about it last week. It was a big fucking mass shooting at a concert in Russia. Mm. They killed like hundred and fifty people. Man, mass shootings are fucking And, and you know they're like they're saying, Oh, it's the Ukraine did it and this and this and that but they're Supposedly, the news said that ISIS took um, credit for it. Hmm. Now everybody's like, oh, it's just a distraction. You, you believe they're distra distractions? Yeah, Joe. 
Oh, election yeah. year? All the time, Joe. You think you think they fucking trying to make you vote a different way? It's possible, Joe. This is when all the bad news come out. Everybody get bullshit coming to throw shit off. You, everybody want to sort out the next motherfucker. If me and you was running for some shit and we really wanted to win, I'm going to pull out all the dirty punches on you. You're going to pull them all out on me. It's just like last night, seven, seven kids, all under the age of 17, uh-huh. were shot in Indianapolis last night really? at a mall. You think that's a distraction? No, I think that's it's some just dumb stupidity. motherfuckers that want to take lives, bro. Uh, I was reading some shit the other day, bro, where um, it was a 16 year old girl at uh, Manual Arts. She got into a fight with a bully in the bathroom, hit her head on the stall. A couple you... days later, she went to a, a, a party with a friend. They was dressed up and everything, and she collapsed and died at the fucking. Uh... Do you know that? That has been happening a lot lately, and I'm yeah. gonna tell you. Let me see. But but this girl, man, she fuck around and collapsed at a party and died. And they said they think it was from injuries from that fight. It was, they it was, had video and everything of the shit. It was like blunt force trauma or something. Yeah. But there was another story of a, okay. Look, look at this one. Parents of students at Montebello schools are enraged, claiming their children have been bullied and sexually assaulted by classmates. While school officials have not done anything, well, they say that on everything to address the problem, because they plan in the suit or get some type of money from this. You know what I'm saying? So they always put it on the mm-hmm. school officials. See, there was another story I had, but it was another. They had a video and everything too. <clears throat> but they got the girl, and they're gonna charge the girl. Same shit. More than but, likely, they but, got video on this but, one, so they but, gonna but, charge uh, this girl. I don't know where this one girl goes up to another girl and just starts pulling her and wailing on her. Yeah. But then sits on top of her mm. and grabs her by her head and just and starts start banging, it. banging it on yeah. the fucking concrete. That little girl died too. Yeah. And the one that did it, that anger overrid mm-hmm. some shit. Your ass need to go mm-hmm. sit down and do your bid to get your ass right. Motherfuckers thinking they can do anything, bro. Like, all these people, they walking around with pistols and shit, and they mm-hmm. ready to shoot the next man. For what? What happened to the days when you could talk some shit out, squash the beef, maybe even knuckle up? But now everybody want to shoot everybody, and then they want to go on the run. Nah, you was mm-hmm. bad enough to shoot this motherfucker. Be bad enough to sit and wait. Because yep. they coming to get you. Mm-hmm. Don't go running. And these are kids. You know? These are kids that's not raised right, Joe. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somewhere and in the translation, these parents ain't raising real kids. And what's the crazy part is that half the time when these little girls are fighting, it's over a boy. Yes, it is. And yes, it's probably this little boy don't give a fuck about neither one of them. Because that particular fight where uh, the little girl died and hit her head at Manual Arts, it was behind a boy. You See know what, what I mean? Saying? A lot of this shit are behind uh, girls or boys. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I, we work in a school, and I've seen fucking little girls arguing over fucking boys. Yeah. And it's like, man, shut the fuck up. You can't even wipe your ass right. Real <laughs> shit, bro. Hey, man, yesterday, me and the family, we went down to the block in Orange, bro. And this shit is crazy, bro. I was in a, a Puma store, and I was trying to get me some, uh, some little... Uh, shoes with memory foam because you know I got that neuropathy and shit and yeah. my foot be fucking with him so I went to go uh, find some shoes so I'm in the Puma store and they had some shit so I'm trying on some shit uh, a dude had somebody helping him out the dude already looked fishy he had three boxes of shoes in his hand he had people helping him out bringing him shoes and doing a little shit and that motherfucker dipped for the door I said oh look at this did they get him? Shit. no the nigga in the shopping center he just dipping any security should question the shit because the nigga don't have a bag. Mm-hmm. He just got shoe boxes and he got more than one and he dipping. Nigga, stop this nigga. So we walk in the whole little promenade and shit. We get over to the Nike store. Before I walk into the Nike store, two dudes dip out of that motherfucker right past me. I said, oh, look at this so shit. So you know it's fucked up. You know you know Dollar Tree, right? Mm-hmm. You know they're going to close a, a, something like 1,200 stores? Wow. You know what for? Why? Good for inflation. Uh-huh. But mostly because people are stealing. How the, the fuck you stealing tree. from the Dollar Tree? Joe, it, it makes no sense, bro. Um, I went into uh 
stealing is a, is a top factor. Yeah, it don't make sense, man. The shit is a buck. You can find that walking. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but I went into uh, Nordstrom's. Or was it Neiman Marcus? Might have been Neiman Marcus. I walked in there. They only had one shoe in every box. Ain't nobody. What the fuck? You gonna, you gonna be Cinderella? They only got one shoe in every, in every box. box. So you gotta ask for the other shoe if you, you want to buy them. Yeah, I said, oh, to be honest, more stores should do it. You'll have less motherfuckers running out with them shits, or they'll only get that one shoe. Because, no, what I mean by that, you'd be like, oh, well, let me try this one on, so they'll bring out the other one. So you get that one box and you go. You ain't finna have a whole mm -hmm. lot of them. You, yeah. Because I'm, I'm not sure. finna, it should be a limit anyway. You can only bring a motherfucker two, two shoes. At a time, if they don't want them, you take those two back mm -hmm. and then bring whatever else. Well, you know, like in uh um, you've been to the swap meets around here. Yeah. Like Delamo, you know, the, what is it right here in Linwood, Plaza Mexico? Yeah. You've been in there. You know, they only have one shoe out. That's what they got to do to stop this shit. Instead of having a, a, a purse out there, have a picture of that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have a fake one. Have a, have, nah, they, they can't have a fake one. But uh, I'll do something to the motherfucker that made... I don't know, Joe, but they got to crack down on this shit, man. It's fucking ridiculous. Hey, bro, you got any gripes of the week? I ain't got no gripes. No gripes? I ain't got nothing. My gripe, man, is it's raining on Easter, man. All these little kids out there can't hide their little colorful eggs. And, and that's shit. the fucked up part. They try to hide them in the rain. They're just going to find it by the color because all the colors are going to come off. It's going to come off, bro. Hey, man, but at this time, man, do we got another video by the Grimies, man? You know, the Grimies Greenleaf finna drop some shit next month, man, which is starts tomorrow, man. But shout out to the Grimies Greenleaf. Hanks to the gangster, better known as Macalicious and Big Ski, man. Hey, Joe, let's run another Grimies video, man. Throwback. Let's get it. I, I, man, so, I, I, who is these niggas we got against? Man, them grimy niggas, man. Well, who is the grimy niggas? Who is the grimy niggas? Man, that, it's that boy, uh, that nigga Greenleaf. The nigga from Long Beach? The nigga from man, Long Beach. Man, hell no. Man, these niggas, they, they not that nigga, man. They said fire for this nigga, man. Man, fuck that shit. Greenleaf, man, that, that nigga whore, man. Hey, man. They said fire G's for this nigga head, man. I don't give a fuck, man. So who, who, who else? Who, who else is it? Who else is it? That nigga from Compton, they always be fucking oh, with. Right, uh, big, big Ski? Big Ski. Oh, hell no, Hey, don't man. do this shit to me right man, now, man. Don't do this shit to me man, right now. That's fire for this nigga, too. Who, is, nigga, is, it another, is it another nigga? Yeah, the nigga that done been to the pen, man. That uh, that Macalicious oh, motherfucker. Oh, fuck no, nah, man, for real. Fuck. You got that. Nah, 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 Nigga, shit, Fudge. Hey, nigga, hey, I gotta eat, nigga. I gotta eat. Come on, let's go. Let's get, get it, nigga. Let's go. Let's get it. I gotta eat. Let's go. I never fucked anybody Bye. over in my life. It never fucked. We don't fuck around. We out here living for the night. If you can't 
swim, then you gon' drown. Cause in these streets, man, it's really going down, down, down. South Central, been here my whole life Prepared is my mental, these streets, these sharp knives You dead if it's not in you, these fools, they don't fight If they said they coming to get you, then they coming tonight My scuba through the enterprise, 750 poly high Went from fighting my whole life to something that's flying nice You know you don't scare me, nigga, everybody got them triggers And them killers like the postman, when they deliver So fuck what you holding, and fuck a nigga boasting You was born to fear God, and never nigga know, man and stay away from them bitches when they be poisoned And you haters and snitches, they die by the death sign I know real Jesus, Gorky and Oak is my cousin Them niggas you don't see, but when they come, you get haunted We show the industry, we do it like it seriously And you already know, Mac Delicious really We don't fuck around We out here living for the town We count that money by the pound And my number hit me when it's going Cause in these streets, man, it's really going down, 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 down. We don't fuck around, you fucking around in my town. We ain't playing with you clowns. We laying your punk ass down. You niggas really want it, the niggas can come and get. We the niggas that you niggas don't really don't want it with. We the niggas who was seeing they locked us up in the pen. We back out on the streets and we back at it again. We from the level three and four yard, pulling on your whole car, going in the streets like we go hard in the yard. Man, it's really going down, 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 down. Man, the Grimies. Hey, right, that's another one, man, from the Grimies. Uh, we're going to re-release uh, certain songs coming out uh, next month, which is tomorrow. And, uh, hey, man, y'all be on the lookout for some of this shit, man. The Grimies, we still, in effect, we still got shit moving and grooving. You dig? Hey, let me ask you something. What's that, Joe? I read this story. Well, I, I, let me tell you this story first. Okay. And then I want to get your reaction from the story. I read it. Chick was at the beach. At the beach? Which beach? Any beach. It is just, she was at the beach. Okay. And uh, the dumbass, she jumps off of a cliff or or, or something. She, a diving board, a cliff, whatever. Whatever. She jumps off. Wait. Wait. You at the beach and you had a diving board? Yeah. You know, okay, let's say she was... Yeah, the... She was somewhere at a lake or a beach, whatever. But it had a diving board. A diving board or a fucking um, pier or a, a pier or I something. I ain't seen a pier or a beach with a diving board. Whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right, but go ahead. She no. was at a, a, a somewhere where they, it was a body of water. Okay. And she jumped okay. into the water, hit her head on something. Off a diving board? No, in, in the water. She hit her head in the water. No, but uh, she so, jumped off a diving yeah, board. Yeah, a diving board, a cliff, a fucking... Uh, a cliff a, and a diving board, two motherfucking uh, different she, things, She bro. jumped off a cliff, a diving board, don't a fucking pier, board, or... Don't say diving board, Now, a pier Okay, or what's, a what's, what's say she jumped off the cliff? But don't say a diving board. She jumped board. off a cliff, jumped into a fucking river. Okay. She hit her head. Okay. Passed out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, a guy sees this, sees everything happening, she, she didn't come up. Mm -hmm. So, he runs, he goes, saves her. Mm-hmm. Fucking saves her and then he pulls her to the side, starts doing, comp you know, chest compressions, mouth to mouth and everything. Mm -hmm. Bitch wakes up and you know what she wants to do? The dude saved her life. Yeah. So now the bra wants to sue him. For what? Um, sexual harassment. Throw that bitch back in the water. Because she didn't consent to him um, touching her chest or um, giving her mouth to mouth. That's an ungrateful bitch. <laughs> Throw that bitch back in the water. <laughs> Another fish in the sea. Yeah, this bitch fucking literally died from drowning. Guy saves her, 
And she now she's trying to sue him for um I don't know what you call it, sexual assault, sexual misconduct. Joe, uh, I'm a, I'm gonna sue her for not paying me for, for saving, saving her, her motherfucking life. Yeah, cuz he supposedly cuz he he touched her he touched her chest. Joe, how would you feel in a situation like that? How would I feel? Yeah. Dumbfounded. Pretty and that's the fuck how he feel, Joe. He sitting there, he done saved this bitch life. He done drug a tuna from the sea. He mm-hmm. done fuck around and helped this bitch out. He probably thought it was a mermaid or some shit. Probably. probably. And, and, and then, this is my thing, Joe. If the bitch was ugly as fuck, mm-hmm. looking like a barracuda, and I done fuck around and put my lips on this motherfucker, she wants some, bitch, you should be grateful. You know what? One of these I days, kissed you. You should have been turned into a princess. One of these days, some, one of these days when I... I have stories like this. I'm gonna have a video too one of these days. I wish you would have had one of this, Joe. So, so you could, so you could see what I'm talking about. Oh, I needed to see this, Joe. <laughs> Cause I'm like, how the fuck you gonna? What, bitch? I saved your motherfucking ungrateful <laughs> life, you ignorant motherfucker. Now she's trying to sue the dude for. Did she have big titties? Did he fondle the titties though? She passed the fuck out. Maybe yeah. if the nigga was groping the titties. He... Pushed and then groped or something. Maybe put a nipple in his mouth or some shit. I could see all of that, Joe. He tried to breathe life into her through yeah, her nipple? Like, shit. <laughs> I wanted to see if her little ducks was open, so I tried to blow <laughs> into the mother. I don't know, Joe. You stupid. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, in case he did that or some shit, then okay, I could see it. But if he was just generally doing CPR on this motherfucker. Yeah, it's CPR. And she came back to life. Bitch, she, you should and, be grateful. And she straight out said she didn't consent to it. Hey, you how, know, how you gonna, a bitch, though. Karma's a bitch. And you know what? I think that's where it comes down to, you know what, like when a lot of shit happens, you know, that's why a lot of people don't really try to help a victim. All they do is film it and mind their own motherfucking business? Because, you know, you can get in trouble. If you film it, you can get in trouble, Joe. Everybody got a camera, everybody filming everything. Mm-hmm. But don't nobody want to help or do shit. Sometimes it don't pay. True. I mean, but... A lot of good-hearted people, you know what I'm saying? They're going to rush and try to help out anyway because mm-hmm. it's in them. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But then you got these fucking low-life degenerates that you saved that ain't worth saving. They're like, oh, no, uh-uh. I need to get paid for him touching me. Bitch. Yeah, that, that was a crazy story that I had read. I also read that um, Russia is putting uh, LGBT alphabet people uh-huh. on a terrorist list. Ooh. So it's against the law, law that they could fucking they ain't fucking around. That they'll fucking arrest you and freeze your fucking bank accounts and all kinds of shit. They better go back in the hiding over there in Russia. What they say? They better go back in the hiding Says, over there. Russia officially adds the LGBTQ movement to its list of terrorist and extremist organizations. Ooh. The movement could be subjected to arrest and bank account freezes. They ain't fucking around in Russia. How 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 true is? Oh, I think it's true to the motherfucker. We'll, we'll see when we'll all, see. They, all we gotta people see. come from Russia over here. Because over here, it's, it's allowed. I mean, you do what the fuck you want. Who am I to say some shit about it? But Russia ain't bullshit. You better not hold hands, blow a kiss, stare at a motherfucker too long. It, that's, that. that's funny. I got a lot of stories about Russia. There's a story, too, that um, Putin released a bunch of fucking artifacts about... Um, you know, Virgin Mary mm-hmm. and Jesus Christ and everything, uh-huh. and that the statues were of black characters. Really? Wouldn't be surprised. They hide. I, I wouldn't be come. surprised either, but it's like a lot of these things. People, you gotta realize some of this shit is AI generated nowadays. Dude, I could I could AI generate you and make you say anything. I wish you would. I wish the fuck you would. <laughs> Because it'll be interesting. It would. <laughs> but You'll it, never know what the fuck I'm going to say regardless. Hey, Joe, Joe, Joe. Hey, before we get out of here, bro, on this Easter Sunday, this rainy Easter Sunday, don't forget to tell them what do we got coming up at 5 o'clock on Big Ski Radio? A Dusty Joe kickback show at 5 o'clock from 5 to 7. What kind Let's, of music you play? Oldies, soldies, something you could fucking... You know what? If you if it wasn't raining and you was out barbecuing, this is the kind of music you want to listen to. Ooh, okay. You can't listen to it in the rain, though? You can listen to it. You might make some babies, but... Okay, but well, fuck it. Y'all <laughs> tap in the Big Ski Radio, 5 o'clock. Dusty 5 to 7. Se- 7 to 9, you got the Latin Hip Hop where we play some of the... Um, some pretty good Latin um, Hip Hop. You know, kind of shit you don't normally 
here in mainstream radio. Yeah. Shit you got to go looking for. Yeah. So I got it all in one spot, somewhere where you can enjoy it. Some good shit, too, man. You know, Shout out to the Latin Hip Hop Hour, man. Dusty Joe doing his thing. You know, if for, for any reason you guys ever want to hear something specific, hit me up on social media. And and we could work on getting your song on there. Y'all better hit him a couple of times. Yeah, a couple of times. Joe be on bullshit. He hit me up on on, on the Anything Goes um, podcast page. Yeah, fuck around and shoot him some links or something like that. Let's see if we can get it in yeah, the Yeah, if, if you know something specific specific that you want to hear on the show, let me know. And we'll, we'll get it out there. Yeah. Might yeah. not be the same day, but I'll right, get it more up More than there. likely it won't be the same day, <laughs> but we'll get it up. Yeah, we'll, we'll, so, we'll, we'll, yeah. Hey, man, on that note, man, it's about time for us to get up out of here. Hey, man, everybody out there, y'all have a safe and a blessed Easter. I want to give a shout-out to my mom, too, man. I got to call her and check on her mom's fail uh, this week. And they had to shoot her to the hospital, but she was cool. So I got to give a shout-out to moms, and I'm, I'm going to call you in a little bit as soon as we get off the air. Yeah, and guys, just remember, don't hide your eggs in the wrong bushes. You might get, you might get hurt. Man, hey, on that note... <laughs> That shit, that, that works for me. <laughs> hey, man, but it's your boy, Big Ski. It's your boy, Dusty Joe. Hey, man, y'all have a blessed and a happy Easter Sunday. Y'all enjoy yourself. Hey, don't forget, we won't be on next week due to my selfishness of my motherfucking birthday. But we'll be right back the week after. Yeah. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Hey, man, y'all enjoy y'all Sunday, man. We out of here.